What's up, everybody? How's everybody's morning? Great. Awesome. Awesome. Um, this is game week for me, okay? Seven days, I will be walking on stage with your super swan. Mm-hmm. Seven days from now, I'll be waking up, getting ready to get this wreck with the roof. That's what we're going to be doing, right? Seven days from now. This is when I usually even lock down more, you know? That's why I, some people, like, uh, tag Mr. Temperature Check, too. Let's, let's tag him, too. Uh, I want to give people some kind of, like, way of thinking. Hold on. Let me get y'all right on. Y'all know how I do it. Yeah. Okay. So look, everybody. Uh, let's share this. Let's share this first, so we can uh, get the people here before I just start talking right quick. I don't want to be like, you know, doing it. But um, yeah. Seven days from now, I will be on stage, um, taking super swamp chrome. Uh, anniversary. It's kind of dope to be uh, in season 14. This is a another. This is another main event that I can put under my belt on another league. Um, actually, what's kind of crazy? I think I've been the main event first on URL, RBE, and Chrome. I think you know. So this would be the you know. Th- I, and actually, too, me and Marvel. Uh, let me talk my shit because look, this temperature check. Let me bring him up here right quick, Tim. Come up here, sit down right quick, but if you if you're available. Um temperature check, I saw I saw something that he just posted, right? What up, bro? I What's saw good? something. I saw something he posted, right? And mm-hmm. what 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 you were saying, what Temp was saying, how can y'all hate this one? Why do you hate this one so much? And I'm gonna tell you why they do. Because he he's he is what he is. That's where the hate come from. Like sometimes it's like you'll get it, 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 it like a, a a human is naturally like uh jealous, envy. That happens, right? But the fact that he is really who he is is what triggers the problem. Cause look, this is the thing, like I said the other day. All the static here, right? Any rappers here that I do not get along with has nothing to do with me. It's all URL. It's something about them standing for URL. Nothing me saying none to them. Nothing them saying to me. It's the fact they standing for some other niggas that's lying to everybody, right? The fact that I stand on what I am, like the fact that I don't change who I am, the fact that everything I said about me checks out, right? Those things are offensive to some people. When you become that nigga in any field, it's it's a hateful energy that comes to everybody who's that nigga, period. Any field you're in, the nigga who come, becomes successful, the nigga who maintains being successful will get hated by every other species on the floor anyway. But it's cool because I'd rather be me than you bitch ass niggas. That's where the punchline comes in. So when you when you weigh it out on the table, like our lives are already dictated. They already are drawn out the direction they're supposed to go, right? Some people get different gifts. Okay, so it's like one or two things. Do you make him... some? The ability for, for people to change, evolve, and go up is only a select few. 90% of the world probably is going to stay the exact same, people, for the rest of their, their, their time. It is some of us that are selected to be a little more rare than others. Now, what you, once you're selected, you got to activate it, though. Because even when you go to, like, a Bible term, right? Faith without works is dead, right? Okay. Once you're picked, you have to still maximize your gift. Where people go wrong and where they most of the time have hate toward me is because I am who I am. I've maintained who I am. I was was who I was before I met niggas. I'm from where I say I'm from. I'm actually good on stage. I actually am a draw. So when you looking at it from another nigga, he looking at it like, why that's not me? That's where the hate comes. The hate comes of why it's not me. I can't look at another nigga on the planet and see his success and it turns me any kind of way. That's why everybody that know me personally, they're going to tell you, man, dude, don't hate it all. He's going to give you that. Because I don't give a fuck. 
because I'm already picked. Once you know you picked, man, it's like I can never see a nigga moving and say, I'm mad at that. No, nah, nigga, move with him. What the fuck are you talking about? Create the connection with him. It don't even make sense because it's like when you when you're selected to be one of them ones, you go numb anyway, man. You got to be detached anyway. All the people that are successful and mega stars and anything or the lead of anything, you have to be numb because the world makes you numb. Everyone stands against you. People that you know gonna stand against you. Your girl gonna stand against you. The police gonna stand against you. Everybody's gonna stand against you. So what it does is it makes a human numb. What you said, Tim, in your blog, you said, Verb don't give a fuck. I literally can't because my design has been this way from the moment I got here. Emotion was taken from me young, though. I had to be stripped of it to get here because the, the, the movie is already drawn. I need him in this form. I need him in this form for him to get here. He, he's going to, there are certain things he's going to lose. Okay. This nigga will never be a nigga that, that is submissive, a nigga that's going to walk around and uh, accept shit. He will never be that. His life will be harder. His life will be a hundred percent harder, but I have to make him harder before I give it to him. So what, what battle rap has done, I was already numb. That's why I, could, I was able to function the way I was. Right. What it did is made me more numb. So it's like, when I see people talking shit, it's like, I know you nothing. I know I can buy that bitch from you. So I'm not going to argue with you. Like, I know these things. So it ain't, it ain't nothing to argue. But for a nigga to, that, to carry y'all culture, because y'all don't have one. Tim said, when Verb wasn't talking, wasn't no money moving. Because it wasn't, right? So for a nigga that's going to carry y'all, right? Not only does he carry y'all, he show up and do his job every time. The league on a spot, like, here's the thing, bro. League on to say, oh no, dude is coming to do his job. When when I'm booked, people, I'm at the venue on time. I come with three rounds. Mistakes will be minimal. Material will be brand new. There is there is nothing that you can even compare to what I I've done because there's not nobody with them stats. So that's what I do. I lock down. What that does is it makes humans become bitter because they can't do it. Actually, you can. It's just that you don't have the drive to do it, pussy. That's all it is. You're just softer. That's all it is. You can you can make yourself become that. You're just a bitch. You are. I, I, I really believe that because there, here's my theory with that, right? Everybody got a gift in them. All, everybody, like there's some people that don't think they got gifts. They do. You just ain't learn how to unlock it. But once you unlock it, now this is the thing. When you take that pill and you find out who you is, your life really gets hard because now you got to train harder. Everything, the lights are on. People are looking and wanting the worst for you. But here's the thing, people. I don't give a fuck about y'all. I don't give a flying fuck about y'all. Y'all can go to hell. Like, I, I, I mean that shit because my timeline is the only timeline I give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. I don't give a fuck what you thought, what this nigga think about me. I don't give a fuck about what he thinks. Why? What he thinks don't affect me. And he's wrong, right? Okay, so if I know I'm that nigga and you know I'm that nigga because your shit tagging me and it's telling you that I'm that nigga, right? See, this is my thing with people, right? When you decide to target a nigga and say, hey, I don't like that nigga. Why don't you like him? Because he is what? That nigga. Hate is love in, re in reverse. That's all it is. There's no way. If you hate something, you really love it and you admire it. Like, so when people come and take my spaces or something, or they do that, put it up, right? It'll be comments with people saying, fuck him, I hate him. You click this. You love him. It's just you a bitch and you can't really think about it. So I don't even fault y'all when y'all feel that way. But Tim, I have stumped on these niggas my entire time and ain't nothing else going to change. When, when, when somebody decides they hate you, do you know how much blood pressure you raise and I don't? Die, bitch. Die then. I'm going to make y'all die doing it then. That's what I'm going to do. Because that will make me happy. I want y'all niggas to fucking croak and blow a gasket. That will make me happy. So therefore, what I'm going to do with that, turn that bitch to the max. That's why I talk so much shit to y'all. Because I know for a fact it affect you bitch ass niggas. Because it's always going to be a nigga up, oh, man. I hate that nigga. Come on, Swamp. Swamp ain't going to do a bitch ass thing, man. They're going to do a bitch ass thing. Like none of these niggas are going to do a bitch ass thing because guess what? Ain't nothing changed, right? Damn, let's get in the pattern here, nigga. I, knowing the fact that y'all feel away, right? 
you feel terrible. When when I talk my shit, I'm talking my shit in fact. I don't give a fuck what you feel. When your heart rate and you get mad, you're risking killing yourself. Risk it, bitch. Risk it. Risk it. That's what I want from you. That's why I keep talking. I want you bitch ass niggas to wake up with headaches and seeing double and triple because your diabetes and your goddamn chlorophyll and all that shit broken. I want you niggas to feel like that. I look forward to it. I do. It's a desire in my heart. It is, for real. So I want y'all, and that's why when Tim said the bloggers love him because he don't give a fuck. I don't. I want you all to fail. I want I, I want y'all stomachs and heads to hurt every fucking day. I would like that. That's why I make sure before I start, I come in here and trigger a bitch ass nigga. You sad, you bitch ass niggas. I get a that's why I train so motherfucking hard. That's why. That's why I make sure I'm excellent. That's why I make sure I sell because y'all are nothing. I want you to be eating your grits in the morning and your bitch ass hands shaking and knowing I don't got the problems you have. Like, so, like right now, some it's some people in the crowd that don't like me, and you're holding your cell phone, right? And it's going to get cut off. It's going to get cut off. Like, you're angry holding your cell phone and you're realizing in two days from now, I got to give these people that money. That thought don't go through my head. What is wrong with you this morning? <laughs> Nothing. No, no, listen, listen. That thought does not go through my head. Y'all problems don't exist in my head. My, my problems consist of bigger things, right? My my problems make me say I want to do something different. Like it has nothing to do with what you think. Like because everything that's getting paid for is hooked to some card that I don't even know where it is. That is some kind of flex, right? Like I wake up and function off my raps. That's it. So I understand my face makes my life function in a peaceful manner. So I understand when you're mad. When you're selling plasma and your bitch is on, she's selling pussy. I get it, right? I 100% get it, but people, don't, don't die too soon. Save a little anger. This is a, long, this is a marathon, niggas. This ain't a 40-yard dash. I know y'all probably heart, little heart rate get upset. Save some. Save some. You're going to need that. You're going to need because it's only getting bigger and bigger. Like, y'all have not save it, nigga. Save some. You're going to need more because I'm going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And y'all going to be more and more sad. And every day you're going to be telling yourself, I can't, I've been standing against this nigga this long and nothing happens. Nothing will happen, guys. I also want to tell y'all, too. The mayor that put the money up for the battle, right? And, and, and blessed all the rappers with that money. Hey. Mr. Mayor, I'm gonna tell you something. Stop giving them niggas money. Oh man, here we go. Uh-uh. Look, look, Damn. Here, look. No, I want y'all to understand why. Tell what's good, brother. What's now, up, bro? Now look. Hey, look, the mayor came through. He made sure all the rappers got paid, giving them extra thirty thousand, extra forty thousand, just giving them money, right? Stop giving these niggas money. I got some of it though, chill. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. This was wrong. You niggas have not. I have not had one conversation with this man. I ain't had one conversation with this man. He tweeted me yesterday. So, you know, I did my hunting. As he should tweet. I'm glad he reached out to you. Okay, wait, okay, wait, man. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on, nigga. Nigga. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey, wait, hey, 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 wait, brother. Hey, listen, I ain't the oh, come Hey, on, listen, hey, hold on, that. listen, bro. Listen, listen. I don't laugh at niggas' jokes because they got money. Fuck, it's I ain't one of them type of niggas. Okay, all right, so look, so... I heard how niggas was behaving because I had to do some investigations, right? I heard how niggas, the rappers was acting over this man, following him around and begging and like smiling. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to cut your wisdom. Temp is right next to me and Temp chill the whole weekend and shit, right? I don't know if Temp got that vibe. I didn't get that vibe, bro, respectfully. All right, we'll get, we're, 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 no, no, check this out, man. So I know a lot of things, man. All right, I'm just saying, all right. I'm not saying right, so, you want, so, 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 her niggas, let me explain something to y'all. What you show love, though, Verb. Yeah, okay, now look, let me tell you why, nigga. This is why I say stop the money. Cut the pipeline on the niggas, right? Only a select few, right? 
Because number one, he's doing this for black men, you stupid fucks. You niggas have such a nigger mentality, right? A nigger's mind, right? Take and rob. He's doing this for black men to even the score up, nigga. There is tons of foundations that give girls money. There is no foundations that really give it to niggas, man. The girl has, listen, listen, this is what I'm saying. This nigga don't need to pass no more money out, man. Only a select few need to get money because they don't understand the bigger picture. He's not coming into the game. Like, I have not had a conversation, man. I'm, I'm, look, and y'all know I don't dick pull. A lot of my partners is rich. I don't, that don't, I don't laugh at your jokes because you got money, bro. Because I've always functioned the way I want to function, right? On any level, that's where the unjealousy come in because I don't look at this nigga because he, he's in a Rolls Royce. If I'm driving uh, whatever I want to drive, I don't view it like that, man. The man is putting something in the, the black men's hands to power them up. You stupid niggas is looking like we've been taken advantage of so long as rappers, right? Everything has been taken from us, right? We know the treatment we've had, right? When a bunch of niggas have, and look, I'm one of the ones that was able to make, to be able to function from it, like one of the bigger ones that make, actually made a little money from it, right? Okay, but the niggas that did not make any money, they're gonna take, I need to take, give it to me, give. If you drain the nigga, man, the money leaves. His first event, he gave y'all everything. Right? Everything. You don't take from him. You find out what the fuck that is. Because look, right, bro. look, look, look. Yeah, I'm right, nigga. You, you, I just told you that. You was like, no, why no. are you doing it? Can I, right. can I piggyback on something you said? Because you said something, right? And it just triggered my brain. Let me tell you where you right at. I had a problem with this, and I talked to the man about this on the interview I did with him, right? I didn't like the fact, and I don't know how you feel about this, right? Where niggas, he's showing a lot of love, and a lot of niggas did not come to these fucking meetings that we had. I All had right, a problem look. with that. I got my yeah. ass up at 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I was there 15 minutes with Temp, eating breakfast, sitting down, having conversations with this man while niggas was not showing up or coming wildly. I thought, I thought that was disrespectful. That shit was look, 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 look. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all why. We got to stop it right here, right? Here's the thing. He has to be able to, what he's trying to do is for black men. It ain't for niggas. You got to get away from niggas, man. Like, look, the, the niggas, no. This is for black men that makes sense. He's trying to put money in niggas' hands so they can power themselves up and control their fucking house. Because you got to think, in this era, and this ain't even no knock to anybody with a vagina. In this era, the money was given to y'all. The more you power the girls up, right? The more you give them what they need, because usually their they main objective is to get next to somebody and survive, right? That's the main objective, right? Okay, the moment they don't have to have that, they're going to get more aggressive. The more aggressive they get, the more challenging they become to the black man, right? If this is for black men to stand, you cannot be taking the fucking money. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's like uh, anybody that don't come from money is going to rob, right? No, you don't do that, man. That's not what you do. Look, everybody, like, I know a lot of things on this court, man. I, I'm telling y'all right now. And he needs to stop giving y'all money. It, like, it, it needs to be, like, go through a funnel, like, like John, because it's John John. It needs to go through a funnel. He's trying to power the black man up. There's no foundations for us, niggas. Yo. Yo, what up, Quest? What up, what up? Quest? Yo, I wanna um, I wanna say it was a lot of different things going on, and it was a lot of shit that that wasn't about money. I think, you know, because the battles were, you know, money was being put on the line, and it was money in other places. Like some of the other shit that happened got lost um, to the mass public that might not have been in attendance because the money shit sound fun. Um, like three mentioned, like I was up. Every morning, I went to every breakout session. I went to every class. But what I got from them classes was way colder than the money. Right? Fact. Um, I, I locked in. Like, niggas fact. know, you know, if you don't know what I do in my community, just look it up. But, um, like, I met with a brother from Detroit that was on that panel that, mm -hmm. you know, he got access to a lot of different things and a lot of different knowledge. It was a lot of grant writers there. Mm -hmm. I was able to meet a dude that my 
older cousin actually mentor he was one of the speakers so my cousin came down and we got to build and have some conversations that's gonna pick up after this event you feel me mm-hmm. so i get you and I, I but i think like throughout the battle rap world the big thing is oh shit man this money in battle rap they said it was gone it, nah, nah. but that's you know the 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 real shit is in the real seeds that grow from this they don't sprout well, these are niggas though, Q. See, Q, you're a black man. You understand. That's what I'm saying. Like, like we understand the 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 struggle and headache. Like, I'm I, I had to go hunt the nigga, man. Like, I ain't I ain't said a word. We ain't had no conversation. He tweeted me yesterday, but we haven't I had to go hunt because I'm like, cause it's a red flag for me, right? Because look, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Because when you come from certain places, when shit like that happen like that, it's a red flag. Like for real, out of nowhere. Like when it just comes out of nowhere like that. If you come from the hood anyway. And you see a nigga pull up on the corners and he's spending money like that. The first thing is, hey, go find who he is. Though. That's Wait, the did first I thing. Say something to you about that when I pull it up. That ass, no hey. shit though. Oh, you said you said that, Q. No, yeah, no like, like I, I, I said a lot of shit. Like, like I, 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 I think even though, like, even the people that were speaking, that's why I'm saying, like, everybody that spoke, I looked them up. Facts. I ran up on them after. Mm-hmm. I chopped it up. And I'm going to keep looking into that because, yo, number one, all the shit that I find is going to be helpful. You Like the convention or the, the conference was put together crazy. I need to know how to do that. But you're you a smart me? black man, though. You look, like, but I okay. need, <laughs> yeah, look, 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 and I think see, that's look, the difference. The like if you're just I'm... looking for the bread, if you're like, oh, man, it's money. Oh, man, he giving he out money. The floor. He's not the giving floor. out. Ain't bro, no bro, listen. Get... We got to weed them out, Q. That yeah. style of human gotta go because what what he's trying to show us is another way so we can stop dying, you little dummies. Here, there, go to, look, here go the thing: look. the biggest the biggest thing you could take from this, like that any the mentality of like, oh, he giving out money. What the fuck he giving out? Niggas are working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Niggas are doing what they do. Nigga, if mm-hmm. Fabulous went somewhere and rap for fucking sixteen bars, and you said, hey, throw him some money. If if so and so showed up to do these performances, niggas are ain't nobody giving out. Well, nothing. Y'all you know, seen the West Coast nigga that's from the source, right? Y'all know how much I love hip hop music. The nigga and I was building, right? The nigga took my number down. We was going over some shit on my channel. The nigga said, three, I want to link up with you and get you to the West Coast. This shit opened doors for a nigga like me. I got to fucking um do a fucking commentary. That I that, you know what I'm saying? This shit opened a lot of doors for but, niggas. So but I'm very appreciative. Not. And I got to meet Temperature Check, and me and this man was building the whole weekend. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I okay but wait, I want you, I want you to stay with us. Though. Yeah, yeah I, I want y'all to stay with what I'm saying. Like, this right here, he's trying to put money in black men's hands. If you niggas keep sticking y'all greasy chicken finger palm, that's why I don't fuck with niggas. Because the thing is, we all come from the same settings. At some point in your bitch ass life, you got to turn that shit off, man. You got to learn because all that shit we know gets us nowhere. Everything we learned in the hood does not work in the real world. Everything. Those things only apply to that little bitty ass square of a world that we're in that don't exist on the planet. So you got a black man coming. How do you get niggas to listen? Money. Let's give him money. The, the, the money he gave out, nobody has ever did. Okay, first thing, if I'm there, my ears go up. So what I did, being from the hood, find him. When you go into it and you see that he trying to help you niggas, and you niggas are not even fucking thinking, like, that's what's wrong with our culture. A nigga thinks to get up. Man, shout out to everybody in the building. Math, Floyd, Sean McCance, everybody in the building is listening. Look, niggas, a nigga's mind says take from the next nigga to get here because it's a panic that go off. A nigga thinks for himself, all right, I got to hurry up and get this. I got to hurry up and get this. If I can get here, then I can get here. No, nigga, you hustle with him. You don't You don't go against it. You hustle with him. Because if he's, a, look, y'all, this is how I know a lot of y'all don't come from the hood and y'all like hoes and shit, right? If a nigga can pull up the first time, like this, I'm, I'm not even being a jerk. URL has never done it, right? Okay, niggas don't move like that. Niggas are never caring for other black men. Niggas is keeping the money for themselves. That's what niggas is doing because we're trained that there is no money. That's what niggas do, right? This black one came man. in. 
Yeah, black men. Black men. <laughs> yeah, look, a, a black man comes in. The reason why you got to call him a black man is because he kept it honest with his people. This this event was not for girls. It wasn't no money for girls. This is to build the black man, right? Okay, so this is a black man that looked back and said, these niggas are getting taken advantage of. Them. Let's turn them into black men, right? He's trying to teach y'all, along with throwing this event, setting up conferences, come learn some. Yet, you niggas want to take the money from it. When you can get further fucking with a nigga genuinely. Because he has to know something because he's connected to something. What One thing that we lack as, as black people is dumb, right? The only thing that keeps us behind the curve is the lack of information. We got somebody that look like us trying to give it to you. He ain't throwing no Ponzi scheme, bitch ass niggas. It ain't no pyramid scheme turn 5,000. This ain't, he didn't tell y'all niggas, hey, bring me 2,000, I'll get your credit, right? Like what niggas do to other niggas and take their money. He didn't do that. He came here and said, look, I'm going to bring you the money. But not only did I bring you the money, I'm going to open these, these conferences, come and learn something, niggas. I'm jumping on my LLC on tomorrow morning, my nigga, ASAP Rocky. I went to a class for monetization verb. And the sister was breaking down shit to me, teaching me a lot of shit that I didn't even, I wasn't privy to know. So this is the reason why we gotta protect him from battle rap, though. You can't, he can't, he can't come through there doing it. Cause look, the the thing is, Mayor, I'm gonna tell you this. Like I mean him never spoke, bro. But here's the thing. If he said, Hey, I'm gonna give you this money, but you gotta complete these, give me two hours of, of courses and classes. I mean, give me two weeks of courses and classes, a nigga won't do it. A nigga doesn't wanna learn, he wants to take. So he, he thinking for himself. Our culture is so fucked up, we all think for ourselves. Soon as one nigga get in position, we hate him. When we should be trying to figure out how do you open doors with the nigga? How do you, hey, let me see how I can get some of that with him. Or how can I be of assistance to get hurt? Man, you got to know when to play Mike and when to play P Pippin. If, I'm, if I'm with, huh? There's too many niggas out here looking for transactions. That's yeah, transactions don't, and, and, and that's fake. Think about how many transactions you had in your lifetime, how many times money hit your hand and left and it meant nothing. But think about when you run into somebody and they show you something or they teach you something or they put you in position to learn. Hey, niggas, I'm going to tell y'all something. Whoever is winning out your circle, just aid that shit and he will win. Everybody stop what you're doing and aid that. So it don't matter if he's just a blogger. If he's a blogger that's winning and you're seeing it starting to win, check this out, nigga. Everybody shield this. Give him the topics. Help him get the guests. You work with the nigga. You only need one nigga to win. The one nigga that win has the ability, and it's not guaranteed, but he has the ability to say, you're still closer to something. Like, you're still, if the nigga came in and threw that much money out, that means he he knows something and he's connected. That's the first those things. He knows something and he's connected because he didn't look like, he wasn't trying to make his money back. When a nigga come and throw that much money out, the first thing they worry about is how I'm getting my money back. They're not throwing that money out for no reason. The money is thrown out to lure you stupid niggas to learn. That's what it's here for. But y'all just see the money. That money is going to leave your hand. Man. The money is going to, once the money leaves, it's gone. Then you got to get some more. Now you're looking for the next person to rob. He has to stop giving money. He only can give money to a select few people. If we let the man get his money taken, like people playing like that, this money will leave. But it ain't even the money. It's the it's the education that come with the money because that's where he's getting this from. Like y'all ain't even thinking. He's connected to these sources that he brought y'all that enabled him to come and throw that much money. So he's bringing you the middleman. Like you're not even you going straight to the plug. He's bringing niggas and saying, "Here, learn from this nigga," because these people that he's bringing and teaching y'all was at, how is that able to happen? He's connected to money. That 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 somebody had to get paid. So you say, I need to tie in with these niggas. The, the, the information is worth more than money. But to niggas, they just want the money. Because I don't know how niggas can feel guilty if he wasn't coming to these classes after the, the way the man opened the doors and the red carpet for niggas when niggas touched that fucking Western Hotel. I felt I, I was obligated to uh, go Uber driver don't classes. feel guilty when they eat your fries out your bag. You don't know they mm -hmm. do that. A Uber driver go in your bag and have a couple fucking fries. He don't feel guilty. Well, that's why I never, I never do Uber driver. Yeah, because a, 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 a nigga is for himself. But if you only gonna be for yourself, you're gonna die out of it, man. So I, I, I really suggest that y'all stop and, and and try to be a little smarter. 
trying to be, I, I would go, uh, I had, look, and y'all, look, this ain't no paid ad. I don't even deal with niggas like that. Y'all know how I rock. I don't give a fuck about no, no. I ain't never been a nigga that was like that, right? That 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 respected a nigga more because of his money. Because I know a lot of niggas from, from where I come from that got some money and they still whole ass niggas. They just whole ass niggas with money. Real shit. Like, like what the fuck is it? Like, uh, yeah, so I don't, I, huh? Well, I'm just gonna say the base of it. I was just gonna say money does own cool a lame nigga verb, you hear me? Yeah. I mean so so I, I your money like don't matter. Base of it, like everybody I think everybody um that actually went participated in the event the right way got a lot more than a couple of dollars. Um and you'll see. Like if you participated in the event, you got more than a couple of dollars. Like the money wasn't shit. Like if you actually went there to, like, you know, you kind of breaking up, Q. You kind of breaking up. Probably, uh, I go get the phone, go back in, and come back out. But I want to ask all y'all niggas something though. When have any out of all the years we've been doing battle rap and you've been doing performing, when has a nigga tried to teach you how to get more? A nigga ain't taught us nothing. URL ain't set us down and said, "Here, let me show y'all how to do these things to make money outside." No, keep them niggas dependent and dumb. I need them to be dumb so I can keep taking advantage of them. Niggas don't pass information. Uh, 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 only niggas that pass information are secure niggas. How many niggas are secure around here? Not many. Not many. Because if I'm secure in who I am, me giving you a plug or some information, I know that don't affect me. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm me. I'm going to score with it. You can score with it. I don't give a fuck what it is. But a lot of niggas have this, no, nah, I don't want you to shoot with my ball type type mindset. And it's like, it doesn't matter. If you are who you are, okay, like, let's let's think. Right now, everybody got the same tools in front of you. All y'all right now got the spaces above y'all. Okay, so I just use it as a, me a weapon of mass destruction on y'all. I chose to. Same thing. I, I, I had to go and say, let me use this like this. But it's right in front of you, niggas. I can give you information. Like, every time somebody asks me a question, if I know it, I'm just going to give you the answer. Because it don't affect me because I know I'm him. And when a nigga know he him, it don't matter. It don't matter what. It, I don't want to see the next nigga lose. Why? I don't give a fuck. Why? I don't care if a nigga is higher than me or lower than me. I'm still me. And that's one thing y'all need to start putting in y'all mind. When you when you feel comfortable with who you are, a a a, a nigga bothering you, a, a a a nigga making you feel less could never happen, man. Comfortable with who I am. Most people are not comfortable, man. So you got to start being comfortable with who the fuck you really is. And then you don't have these problems, man. You don't have these problems. It takes one nigga to say, hey, man, let me throw you a little off. Hey, let's see what you do with this. Let's try this, bro. Hey, let me just try to help you. I mean, what is it? Once you get one of those, that's all you need. That's why I, I, I never cared about what the, like a bunch of niggas said, man. Y'all stupid. Y'all are niggas. Y'all eat chicken fingers from the gas station. Why would I <laughs> like, no, I'm saying, why would I listen to y'all when y'all have put that in y'all mind and body? Y'all don't listen to y'all. It's so so y'all opinion would never matter to me because I'm going up and y'all going to stay in the mud. So your opinion of a nigga that goes, if you, if the opinion of, uh, uh, if you have the opinion, right, if you got a negative opinion about a, 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 a nigga who stayed going up, you're sick. You're sick. And your girl is ugly. Because that's another reason why niggas would be mad. If that girl is ugly, they are mad too. <laughs> That's another reason, though. So when you know who the fuck you is, man, I ain't worried about what, what, what another nigga doing. But I know we got to shut this nigga because he's trying to teach us something. Information. But I had got to a point in my life, a bitch just couldn't come fuck me. You're going to teach me something for this dick. I need to learn how to sew or some heifer. What you know how to do? What's your skill, bitch? Like, okay, t teach me. Because when you leave me, like, the thing is, if I didn't learn nothing from you, you, you was a waste of time. I don't care if you a scammer. I don't care what. You're going to show me a motherfucking trick, bitch, not your pussy. I don't give a fuck. What, what you good at? Sculpting, painting, arts and crafts? Ho, well, show it. I, I'm going to learn it. Shit, because cause it don't make sense. That's the point of humans. You swap information. Swap energy and information. If I'm going to push dick in you, you're going to have to show me something. Man. Ain't no free balls for you, bitch. No. Or, or what, are you, what are you specializing? I don't give a fuck if you know how to make a, 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 a special grilled cheese. I, teach me. Out your fucking mind. Information is what keep us going. 
Smackdown ain't never tried to teach us nothing, bro. They ain't never said here. Let me. You think they don't have the information? Yeah. Yes. You think they don't have the information and the access? Yes. Yes, they can. They can look at your profiles, get them taken, brought back. Yes. Yes. Because here's the thing. What separates us is not talent. It's information. It's not talent. Information, bro. A, a, a less talented nigga with better information smokes a talented one. Like It's not even like comparable. Information. What niggas, just think about in y'all lives now, what niggas have gave you information? What nigga who doing better than you has gave you information? Okay, so we got to stop being like this, though. We got we to gotta be realistic. This one knows something. He's on another side of the planet. It's like he live across the ice wall or something. And he like, hey, it, the, the, the technology is advanced. Let me show y'all. Because you know you ain't going to get niggas to listen without flashing something in their face. Like, and this is, you know, niggas like certain shit. Bananas, watermelon, motherfucking grape soda. You know, shit like that. You put that on the table, a nigga gonna listen, ain't it? That's why us niggas don't get nowhere. That's why when a nigga become remotely successful, he stop fucking with niggas. You gotta stop fucking with niggas. Because a nigga gonna try to kill you. A nigga gonna be around you and hate you because you look like him. You could be helping a nigga, for real. Give him what he asks for, help him try to do this, and he still will hate you. He will hate you because you can help him. That's the sick part about it. He yeah, hates you because you can't help. Damn. That's the best. That's the dumbest part about niggas. That's why I don't fuck with niggas, man. You y'all don't see when y'all see me out at St. Louis niggas and they out there for a reason. That's what they here for, right? I don't fuck with no niggas and shit like that. The niggas is with me. They're my people, so I know how far they gonna go, right? So it's like that's why niggas, man. I don't go nowhere where no niggas at. I don't. Uh, uh-uh, fuck now nah, because I know it's a negative vibration. It's too many people in one place that don't have nothing. So what you think gonna happen? That's why I don't play with no motherfucking niggas. And the higher up you go, you gotta stop playing with niggas. You have to. You can't live now. Soon as we see niggas move on the street, we move, man. Come on, we know the drill, man. So we gotta protect this one and make smarter, smarter uh decisions, y'all. Like 100 percent man. Well, y'all don't have to, because you're mostly y'all niggas. The black men and the black people are humans, period, right? The humans, period. We gotta make better decisions if you're trying to go up. You niggas want to stay down. You niggas want to stay down and be cool with down niggas that are going to rob you and kill you. Down niggas. First rule of this shit is, this is the first thing. I would. This is how I play it. Hey, uh, don't announce how much money you just gave me. Fuck no. Y'all don't see me talk. I don't, Man. I don't, hey, look, look. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all don't ever hear me talking about a bitch ass thing. Hell no. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Uh-uh. Why? Because all you do is put a you put the target on you. You once the target on your back, y'all crazy. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Mm-mm. And once you know that, we in a dangerous setting. No, uh uh-uh. uh. Hey, keep that quiet though. Hey, uh, say you gave me three thousand, something like that. Like I ain't gonna be going too. You know what I'm saying? Too far, because that's how you maintain who you is. Get away from niggas. Don't answer the phone. The key there to life is to get away from niggas anyway. And that's sad though, because the we we are the species that destroys everything. Our own girls destroy us, man. The girls destroy us, bro. Like I I understand if a girl from another race destroys us. I get it. We two different colors, like crip blood, whatever. I fine. But when your own do it though, and look forward to doing it. So how does the black man get up? The black man can't get up. He's targeted at a clip that's unreal in twenty twenty four. He's targeted by niggas. He's targeted by police. He's targeted by the bitch in his house. He can't win. We have a black man that's saying, let me help that scenario because guess what shifts the house? Money. Money is the power. You see how his money made all y'all niggas love him? Money is the power. It don't got nothing to do with how, like, I, like over a lifetime, it don't matter if a bitch think you cute or how much dick you push in her stomach and you feed her. That's what this boils down to because she's going to go with the nigga that's got the, the, the way to feed her. In most situations, some of y'all are dumb for love, but I mean, that's y'all glitch. But most girls is getting in the car. What, what, the, the, when, you got to think, if a girl, if a black man in the house, let's, let's say a, he gave it to rappers. Rappers is one of the hardest things to do, bro. To, like Y'all settings that y'all on is bitch ass shit, though. The world we come from, it was 10 times more stressful. Number one, the opponent was very good. 
it was more stress on our shoulders. So imagine a nigga coming in and giving a black man, here go 40000 for your job, plus the money I paid you. Now he got like a, a little leeway in his house where he is God in his house. Now everything, every decision is ran through him because he got the bag. Damn, you talking, nigga. Yeah, the, the bag is what control the temperature. That's what it is. So when you put that in, he put that in you niggas' hands so y'all can be kings for a second. Because when you got the bag on you, everybody answer the phone. Everybody do what you want, right? Power the niggas up. So what I was saying to the niggas that got the money already, don't go buy no chains and shit, dumb niggas. Go go get you some little houses or something and get on your feet because this is how your power comes. Like the money that he put in y'all hands, so some of y'all left with 40000 30000 30, 40, 50000 Go be, get you some little houses, man. Get you like three little houses and just be quiet. And be quiet. That is your power tool. So now, guess what? Oh, y'all own five houses from that moment, man. You feel me? Like those things, bro. That's how we power up. So what, what I'm telling to you niggas is take your foot off the niggas' necks and open y'all minds, man. That's why I only deal with people of power. Like I don't even be, I'm not talking to none. Like I ain't trying to be funny or nothing, but it's like, man, if I know your mind is primitive still and, and, and you selling sacks and arguing with your girl and shit, I ain't, I'm not even answering the phone for you. That's real Every, shit, though, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, like, I'm not even answering phone Because it's like, the people I talk to are of power. Like, the y'all have seen me, like, people, champions, like, number one champions in power. People that are rare humans always deal with me and speak on me. Like, from, in, in every field. In every field. This is NBA champions. This is NFL pro bowlers. This is the, the best boxer in the world. Both of them, Floyd, Bud, all these. This is what happens when you got that type of power. This is this is a power that run through people, man. Like who you talk to is what you become. I'm not talking to you losers, man. That's why I, that's why it never matters to me what y'all feel cuz y'all are fucking losers. You're you're moving your fingers about how you feel about a nigga that don't even know you exist. You are a fucking loser. You're watching a nigga win and you hate him so much because he's winning. It's making you automatic loser to me. Because when I when I press off here, nothing changes for me. Nothing. No matter how y'all feel.